Rose family, it's your girl Lady Rose, and we're back with another video. And you already know we are doing another Port to Me declutter series. We're gonna do this one a little bit different. This is gonna be my face palette declutter, but I only have 12. I have 12 of them right here. So I figured maybe I could do a sit through, talk through type of declutter and show you guys the palettes and my thoughts on them and if I'm gonna keep them or not. So if you want to see what I keep and declutter as far as my face palettes go, then just keep on watching. Okay, so face palette number one is from Ace Beauté. This is the Bronzed in Paradise palette. And I recently received this in a BoxyCharm. And this is what it looks like. It comes with four shades, lightest to darkest. And I personally love this palette. I can use every shade in here. I use the lightest shade to set under my eyes, anywhere I put concealer. These two to bronze. And then the last one to contour at the top, very top of my cheekbones. And um, it looks like that. Like my son got a hold of it. He only dug his nails in it. Thank God. He just turned three literally on the 19th of February. So he's at that very curious stage. He's already got into my nail polish, my foundation, two other palettes he completely destroyed. So I'm grateful he only dug his nails in here but i love this palette so much i'm definitely keeping so next is the laura geller glow for it high def glow illuminating trio and this just comes with three highlighters and i bought this from tj maxx and i used it maybe once or twice i mean it is a really pretty palette but i would only use this shade and this shade is too light for me the shade is too dark and I don't reach for pinky shades that often so I'm gonna pass this along to maybe my niece or my mother-in-law I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy it more so next is the pretty vulgar nesting bitch face face palette <laughs> Literally, it's the curse word, but I'm not going to say it because I try to stay a family-friendly channel as much as possible. And this has blush, highlighter, and bronzers in it. Um, I'm trying to think. When I used it, I did enjoy it. So I'm going to say these two shades are the highlighters, these two are the blush, and these two are bronzers. Um, I didn't really play around with it too much. I literally got this from BoxyCharm, used it that one time and haven't picked it up since. But I have so many singles that I don't really gravitate towards face palettes. They have to be really, really good. Like my Ace Beauté one, I always reach for this. Um, but I'm going to keep this one and see if I play around with it some more. And if I don't reach for it from here until my next declutter, then I will definitely, definitely get rid of it. But I'm keeping it for now. Like, the name is adorable. Nesting face <laughs> okay so next is one of my very very first face palette purchases this is from bh cosmetic this is the spotlight highlight six color palette and oh my god these are so freaking pigmented i uh, speechless speechless that should say it all like look at these freaking shades when I first received this, I played around with it a lot and it doesn't even look like I put a dent in any of these pants because they're so freaking huge, but I just wouldn't forgive myself if I let this palette go, so I'm definitely keeping. And it's one of my first purchases, so I have some kind of sentimental attachment to it. So this is definitely staying in the collection. So next is the NYX Highlighter and Bronzer Palette, which just comes in the typical plastic type of packaging. And this comes with two bronzers and three highlighters. And honestly, when I purchased this, or I don't know, I think I got this for free if I'm not mistaken, and an Ulta order, I don't remember. But I did enjoy it the few times I used it. I used it maybe two or three times. But the shades aren't that flattering for my skin tone. I feel like this is too light. This is like too peachy. And then this is a bit too dark for me. And this is way too cool toned. I don't like it as like a contour. And I don't really gravitate towards contour shades like that. This is a really pretty bronzer on me. But again, 
not my cup of tea. So I'm definitely going to pass this on. So next is the Pure Medium Tan 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders. I believe this has... Uh, oh, it says that on the back. It comes with a highlighter, blush, bronzer, and a translucent powder. So here are these shades. This is one of the recent palettes that I received from boxycharm and i absolutely freaking love it now this looks super super dark and it can be dark but if you go in with a light hand you could definitely make it work i can use every shade in this palette and it looks gorgeous on my skin tone and i especially love the translucent powder for setting under my eyes it is so pretty and makes everything look super smooth so highly highly recommend i believe ulta just got these on their website like a new arrival I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, so next is the Koki Powder Contour Palette. And this is what it looks like. This was supposed to be the dupe for the Kat Von D um, Shade of Light Contour Palette. So it comes with three like contour shades and then three like paler highlighter shades. Yeah, I was about to lower my light, but like you can see. I really love the middle shade, it's like a banana shade for me, and then all three of these really work nicely as contour shades for me, so I'm definitely going to keep this palette. Um, I used it maybe two or three times, and I loved it every time I use it. I do want to reach for this more, so this probably will be um, in a project pan soon, but I'm definitely keeping. Okay, so next I have the Wander Beauty Wanderous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. And this is what it looks like. And for me, I personally don't like this palette. One, if this is for blush and highlighter, the pans are way too small to dig my blush brush in because I use a huge ass stippling brush. And as far as highlighter go, I mean... They're really pretty, but they're not my type of highlighters. Like, I just don't like them, and they're super glittery. Not my type of formula, not my type of shades, not my type of shape in the palette. So I'm definitely going to pass this along. Next, we have the True Plus Luscious Lucky Glow Bronzer and Highlight Palette. This thing is huge, but I love the iridescent like glow on it. And it does come with a huge mirror. And these are these shades. Again, I received this in a boxy charm, and I actually really enjoyed everything in this palette. The highlighters are amazing, the bronzers are amazing, and so is the pink blush. Really, really pretty colors. And I love this whole like marble spotted thing going on in there. This is supposed to be like a bronzer, but it has like some shimmer to it, so it's definitely like a topper. Amazing, definitely, definitely keeping. All right, we're down to the last three. So, again, back to one of my very first purchases. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Blush To Go Four Color Blush Palette, and it just comes with four blushes. And honestly, I used this a crap ton when I first got it, and I haven't reached for it in so long, and it's so hard for me to let go. But these shades are so bright. Um, I'm so attached. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let it go. Someone else could, you know, show love to it. So on to the next palette. So we have the Kenya Antiveros Beauty Blush and Shine Kit. And this is what the packaging looks like. It has like that, like, is it snake print or like alligator skin type of feel? Really nice. And it comes with blush, highlighters, and bronzers. Really, really pretty shades. Um, I really, really like this blush. I love me some deep mauve type of blushes. And the highlighters are really pretty. I can use all of them, maybe except for this one. And then the blushes, these two are super pigmented. Really, really pretty. Um, actually, I feel like I'm lacking some blush, so... I'm going to dip into this one and show you how it applies. Okay, so I got my stippling blush. Okay, so I got my stippling brush and I'm going to apply some of this one.
and then I'm going to mix in some of that pink. These are like, this is my favorite type of formula. It's not overly pigmented, but it is pigmented where you can build it up. So it's really easy to get the exact amount of blush that you want on the face and not go overboard. Oh, I like. These colors mixed together are really, really pretty. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I really enjoy using this palette. I do need to reach for this one more as well. So I'm definitely going to be keeping. And then last but not least, I will also be demoing this palette because this is one of my favorite highlighter palettes. Um, so this is for Makeup Revolution. I believe this was the Ignite, I think Ignite uh, palette. They had two versions of this highlighter palette. I'm not sure if it's still available, but it does come with a nice size mirror and it comes with four huge ass pans of highlighter. And sis. let me show you what this palette does so i'm gonna probably mix these two shades and i use a fan brush so i'm just gonna mix them and apply i mean i already have highlighter so you probably won't be really be able to tell but That is just gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. Let me stop before I turn into a freaking disco ball. You should already know I'm definitely keeping this freaking highlighter palette. Okay, so that is all the palettes. So, out of 12, I decluttered four. I decluttered... Oh. I decluttered the BH Cosmetics Blush Palette, the Wanda Beauty Blush and Highlighter Palette, the NYX Bronzer and Highlighter Palette, and the Laura Geller Highlighter Trio. And I'm keeping eight, which I think is pretty fair. Again, I do YouTube, so I like to have a variety if I ever reach for a face palette. So getting rid of four, keeping eight. I'm satisfied with that so if you guys enjoyed drop a thumbs up comment down below what you guys thought of the palettes if you would have kept or decluttered anything differently and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go i'd love to have you guys join the rose family i hope you guys are staying safe staying blessed wherever you are and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye can you play that again